Welcome back to the Avengers. In this video we are going through the fastest way to get your power level up to 130 for your drops. This isn't your hero level, that's completely separate if you're wanting a faster way to level that up. There is another video on the channel for that. But this is for your power level. This is going to determine the drops that you are getting. 130 is the cap for drops that are just randomly dropping during missions and mission rewards. You can power those up 10 times if they're epic or legendary rarity, so they can go to 140, which is the cap for powered up gear. And then your major artifact, once you've boosted that, will push you all the way up to 150 because you can upgrade that 10 times and each time you upgrade that, it will instantly give you a power level. Everyone will tell you that you have a fast way to get to 150. You really can't. It's time gated. There's no way to beat that time. If you are pushing for 150, then make sure every day, 6pm UK time when it's the reset, you go to both the faction vendors or the coordinators, whatever they're called, you have one just above the war table on the helicarrier in that little room. Pick up the assignments, pick up the villain sector, because you are going to need to do those. The villain sector will give you more upgrade modules because you complete it. You go to the faction vendor once you've ranked up the faction. The faction's going to reward you upgrade modules. They are used, and they are used a lot. There's also a farming method for those on the channel as well. But they are used a lot for powering up your high-end gear. As soon as your gear gets to 130, you need to use upgrade modules and it gets very, very expensive. But the assignments you get, there are 8 per day for each of the factions, so a maximum of 16 per day. They will give you a resource called Polychoron. That is what you are going to be using to power up your major artifact. And that is very expensive too. So it's time gated. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to play through the game, wait patiently, and you'll eventually get your major artifact up to power 10. The problem with that is that will only work for one character. Your major artifacts do carry over. So once you unlock, for example, the Tacticon, that will be available across all characters. But if you power it up on Captain America, when you use it on Hulk, for example, or Thor, it's going to be back to power one. You have to power it up individually for each character. But then moving on to the gear, and we're getting the gear up to 130. And then it's all about grinding for resources just to power it up once you found the pieces that you want on your build. So you have six characters in the game. The final three should unlock at power level 10. That's how the story played out for me, but there's a lot of bugs and stuff that's working completely different for every player. So not 100% sure if that's going to happen for you, but Thor, Captain America, and Black Widow started at power level 10. What you need to do, and it's a very simple process, is always play the content that has the highest base mission power requirement for your character. You can't go too over the top with it, even if you're playing multiplayer. And you have to bear one thing in mind, and that is that there are checkpoints when you're playing solo, and there are teammates around you, and unlimited revives when you're playing multiplayer. You need to be pushing your difficulty, because even though Challenge 4 doesn't necessarily increase the drop rate or the quality of the drops, so like the numbers on the attributes, for example, 45 might, that's not going to be affected too much, like there's not a significant change between Challenge 1 and 4. But you are going to need to push these to the highest power level. And when I say that, I don't mean just play on Challenge 4 all the time. You can play on Challenge 2, it depends on the mission, or Challenge 1 even. But basically, you go to your war table, and let's just say there is an Assault Drop Zone, or something like that, just a random name. Say your character is currently power level 25, and that drop zone is mission power 30 on challenge 2. If you have another mission on the war table that is mission power 35, go for that one because there's a bigger chance of increasing your gear. So just make sure you're paying attention to the mission power. When you get, I believe it'll be 55, you will be able to take on your elite hive. I believe it's in Pacific Northwest. I think it's called the Evil is Reborn or something like that. It's got a mission power requirement of 70. And I believe you can go 15 above your own. So if you're 55, you can take on the 70. Elite Hives will give you a lot of gear. They will level up your power level very, very fast. Alongside those, you can do Villain Sectors. You can do the Vaults. Any mission that has a high requirement is the one that you need to be doing. Also, alongside that, if you haven't completed the mission chain for that specific character then I strongly recommend doing that too, because using Captain America as an example, step one of his 
specific mission chain will be to take on the first iconic mission, the first of two. The second step will be to get 500 XP for both factions, block 25 attacks with your shield, and then use the Rally Cry ability, which is number one, use that five times or something like that. And then step three, the final step, will be to take down the second iconic mission. That second iconic mission, I believe it will be a power requirement of 40, but once you take that down, you are guaranteed a legendary gear drop. I'm not sure if you can replay it and keep getting the legendaries. I don't even know if that would be worth it. But once you play it, you get your legendary. It's more than likely going to be, I'm going to say, in between 5 and 8 power levels above your current. That's what I figured it out to be anyway. I think mine was actually 8 power level above my current piece of gear in that slot. Some people would think that powering up the gear that you've got in your current slot, so say you've got a shield for Captain America and it's level 24. If you're powering it up six times, you get it to level 30. Some people would think that level 30 stuff is going to start dropping and it doesn't work like that exactly. Sometimes you will get lucky and just playing the same missions over and over again will eventually build you up to that level. But it's not going to instantly start dropping gear because it would be far too quick to power it up. And just an example of how bad the gear can actually be if you're not playing the right content is my highest power level character is Hulk. I think he's 139. I'm not entirely sure anymore because I've spent quite a bit of time now with other characters as I am trying to get all of them to their highest possible power level. But say, for example, my Hulk is 139. All of my gear drops, the standard ones, are either 129 or 130. If I play an Assault Drop Zone, the missions that take like 3 to 5 minutes very, very fast, if I play one of those and I get the end of mission reward, it's typically dropping at 120. It drops 10 power levels below my current or below the gear that I'm currently getting. And that's because the content is easy. You've got to be playing the hardest content to get the highest level gear. And that is pretty much all you have to do. Just keep working your way up. If you're power level 25 and try and take on a mission that's 40, then when you get to 55 to start doing that elite hive, the elite hive will eventually just carry you over and keep increasing your gear because the elite hive is classed as the toughest content in the game. But remember, you can do vaults. You can do the villain sectors. There's a few different missions that are going to be incredibly tough or tougher than some. But it's all about that mission power requirement. You need to make sure that's the highest possible in order to keep increasing your power level all the way up until your drops are 130. Then once they're 130, you can start specking into the build you want for your character, power all your gear up. Once you've got enough polycore on to get your major artifact to 10 power, you'll eventually hit 150. But on that note, that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and also if you have any tips to help players reach the maximum power level fast. I will see you in the next Avengers video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.